Check network compatibility before you make your heart set on a new smartphone. Make sure that it is compatible with your network. Carriers like Sprint and use technology for Verizon CDMA, and thus are usually not compatible. AT&T and T&T Mobile, on the other hand, use GSM technology. The latter two are more likely to support imported devices. Make sure that the phone you purchase is unlocked, and call your operator to confirm the compatibility, in addition to checking the bands yourself. Budget taxes on imports and transportation costs. In addition to the shipping costs, a PayPal or American credit company is likely to be charged a fee of about 5% for converting the Chinese yuan currency as well. Using PayPal will give you an extra layer of customer protection if necessary, you must return the money as well. You also want to check with the seller you buy immediately to see if you can make any claim under warranty in case something is wrong with the device when it arrives, in this case. Prepare additional shipping costs, that is taxes that are unpredictable and can be applied after the device goes through customs in the US. You can expect to pay about $20 to $50 or more in import taxes on your new smartphone. The amount you will pay depends on how expensive the phone is. Once you've got an informed, reasonable idea of what the true value of your new smartphone is, then you need to find the right online store. The best sites for importing Chinese smartphones in the US, we have compiled a list of some places where you can shop online for Chinese smartphones to import into the US. But you should always check online to make sure that the site is trustworthy before you buy. Reading reviews on sites such as the Trustpilot website is a good place to start.